Okay, so first of all, I have here a list of concentrations that were measured in air between 1978 and 2017. And I have here modelled concentrations and the model produces an output once a month, every month from the beginning of 1978 to the end of 2017. And I want to match up the dates in this column with the dates in this column to find out how well the model is reproducing the actual concentrations. So first of all, I'm going to type in equals index. Then I'm going to highlight all of the modeled dates. And I am going to press F4 on both of these to stop them from moving around. Then I'm going to type in comma and match and tab and min and tab and then abs and tab. Then I'm going to copy and paste the modeled dates. Then I'm going to do minus the observations and then close brackets twice and then comma. And then I'm going to copy and paste all of the ABS formula again. Then I'm going to do a comma and zero and then close brackets twice. And then I'm going to press control shift and enter because it is an array formula. And I'll drag this down a little way. And you can see now that the dates in here are the closest ones in the model to table to the dates here. Now I can also do this another way. If I type in equals and max, and then open brackets again and highlight all of the modeled dates and then press F4 to stop this from moving around again. And then I'm going to type in less than or equals to the observation and then close brackets and then times by. Then I'm going to copy and paste the modeled dates again and then close brackets and then control shift enter. And this will find the date just before the date that you're looking for. So the closest date before what you're searching for. And I'm going to call this max because that's the formula that I'm using. And then if I wanted to find the closest date after the one I'm searching for, I would use the minimum formula. So equals min tab if tab and then highlight all of the modeled dates again and press F4 again and this time it's going to be greater than or equals to the observation and then comma and then I'm going to copy and paste the modeled dates again then I'm going to close brackets twice and control shift enter and this is the date immediately after the one that I'm trying to find. Now if I want to find out which one between these two dates is actually the closest, I would need an if formula and if the observations minus the maximum is greater than the minimum minus the observations then I want it to show the minimum value and if it's not I want it to show the maximum value and then enter and I would double click this and this is now the closest date to the one I'm trying to find and you can see that these dates are now the same as the dates in this column now, obviously, once I've found the dates, I then want to pull out the concentrations from the table, and I will need a V lookup formula for that. And my lookup value is going to be this value, and then the table array is going to be all of this table. And I'm going to press F4 to stop the table moving around. Then the column index number is going to be 2. And I want a false uh, exact match. And then close brackets and enter. And then I will just double click on this. 
And now I'm just going to check that the formula is working. So on the 15th of the 7th, 1978, which is here, the concentration is this value, which is the same as the one in this cell. And on the 15th of the 2nd, 1979, the concentration is this value, which is the same as this one. Now, also, because my model only produces results for the 15th of every month, I can use another formula to do this, which is equals date and then year and this value and then month and this value and then 15 and enter. And this will use whatever the year and the month is in this column, but then we'll change the day to the 15th. And you can see that the dates in this column are now the same as the dates in this column, but that is an unusual situation. And the formula here and this one and this one have been copied and pasted into the description box below. So you can copy and paste them if you would like. And that is it.